Hey everyone, we're back for part 2 of my Far Cry 4 review, and today I will continue on with the game's newest DLC, The Valley of the Yetis. So here's the background story. You are looking for a powerful relic hidden in the mountains, but unfortunately, your chopper gets shot down. Being the protagonist, of course you'll survive the crash. So, as you pick up your radio, you'll find out that the pilot is still alive and is being held hostage. Your job now is to locate and attempt to rescue him. Okay, so now here you are in a cultist cavern, and as you're about to free the pilot, a demon worshipper sneaks up behind you and knocks you out. Fucking wildlings. Okay, so you wake up in some sacrificial pit, and this is where you first get to see a yeti. My initial thoughts before playing this DLC was that the Yeti is probably just gonna be a hallucination since Far Cry 4 has never before brought actual literal monsters into the real world. Yes, maybe monsters in a figurative context but never in an actual bestial form. Well, apparently they did in this DLC. Now, you don't have weapons in your first encounter, so all you can do is find your way out and make sure the Yeti doesn't outrun you towards the exit. David beats Goliath, bitch. Well, my stone didn't really do anything. What was I thinking? But I still got out alive, so there's that. Okay, Valley of the Yetis is like a mini campaign. You got a main storyline, but there are also some side missions that you can choose to be involved in. The concept is a bit similar to the original Far Cry 4 side missions, the difference just pretty much leans on the rewards. You have a home base now and each side mission that you complete grants an upgrade to your relay station. Just like in the original campaign, I spent a lot of time exploring the map in order to obtain the best weapons in the game. Because you start fresh in the Valley of the Yetis, you have to go through the hassle of reacquiring the signature weapons again, but they are quite overpowered so it's worth the effort. During the night, you need to defend your relay station from these demon-worshipping bastards that come out in waves and guess what, they've brought the Sasquatches with them. Once weakened, a takedown is possible for a cool new kill animation. David has beaten Goliath now! Okay, so if you can survive 5 nights of yetis, the final mission will be opened for you. Now you're set to venture forth into the lair of the yetis where the relic is located. But to get there, you'll have to hike all the way up to Hajura Amako Hatama, which is the highest peak in the valley. Okay, so once you attempt to blow up the relic, you find out that it can't be destroyed. And then AJ Gale becomes a Sasquatch. Like, what the fuck? Okay, so uh, after the post credits, you're now back in your base, which now has a gyrocopter. And it's absolutely pointless since I've finished all the missions. AJ is back in human form, which has led me to come up with a theory that he is now the Himalayan Hulk. So don't make him angry or else he'll transform into a Yeti. Sasquatch Squash! Seriously, I'm not kidding. See that? The guy has single-handedly pushed a cargo truck back up with minimal effort. No regular human can do that. Anyways, this is not how I wanted my Far Cry 4 experience to end. I mean, what the hell was that? What an anticlimactic ending. So before I end my video, I want to showcase the best myth in Kirat. As you explore some caves, you come across Thankus, which somehow magically impart to you the story of a great warrior named Kalinog and his journey in Shangri-La. The first noteworthy event that you'll come across is finding a wounded white tiger. You carefully pull the blade out of it and he later gets reincarnated as your new sidekick. So you guys are now like He-Man and Battlecat. Now your main objective in each level is to release these Bells of Enlightenment. After liberating the final one, you will get to fight the leader of the Rakasa, which is a giant fire-breathing bird. The only way to stop it is by shooting its mouth before it tries to obliterate you with its meteor showers. After enough knockdowns, your Sky Tiger lunges into the mouth of the bird. 
It sacrifices itself in order to release this beam of purity that finally vanquishes your arch enemy. Now that's the way to end a Far Cry 4 video. Hope you enjoyed it, and as always, thank you for watching.